Over 95% of UK households have at least one door with a Euro cylinder lock that can be found on UPVC, aluminium and wooden doors, either front or back, garage doors, patio doors, on houses, apartments and commercial buildings. But recently, there has been a worrying rise in burglaries where the thief has used a technique known as lock snapping to gain entry. Using just basic tools, such as hammers, pliers and screwdrivers, the thief can snap the cylinder and a euro lock and open the door in less than one minute with no skill needed. To protect against this type of burglary, you will need to replace any euro cylinders with ones that have been designed specifically to protect against slot snapping by having pre-cut snapping points made into the design to stop the thief being able to open the mechanism even if the lock is broken. In this video I will show you how you can easily replace the euro cylinders yourself in just a few minutes saving you up to £100 that a locksmith will charge to do the same job. There are no DIY skills needed, all you need is a tape measure and a screwdriver. To be able to remove the cylinder from the door we need to have the door open. There is a screw that is located on the edge of the door on a level with where the cylinder is that will need to be removed. You can usually use this just a Phillips screwdriver to remove this screw. Once the screw has been removed it should then be a relatively simple process to remove the cylinder from the door. Ensuring that the cylinder is still has the key inside turn the key to around about a 25 degree angle and then pull on the key and this should release the cylinder. You may have to wiggle it a little bit. As you can see now if we're looking at the cylinder now it's been removed from the door. When the key is in straight the mechanism actually is stuck out so we need to ensure that when you're pulling it out that the key is around about a 25 degree angle. Depending on your locking mechanism it may be that the key needs to be in the other direction. Now we have the cylinder out of the door. If we measure it and then we can ensure that when we get our new cylinder it is going to be the correct size to fit inside the door. Replacing it is just the reverse order of what we've just done which is just to push the cylinder into the door with the key in. Once it's in place you should actually be able to turn the key and it will actually operate the mechanism and then just hold it in place with the screw and tighten it all up with the screwdriver. Now some of the anti-snap mechanisms actually have an internal and an external part. So obviously when you're using one of these ones ensure that the part that says external is facing to the outside of the door and the internal to the internal part. You may have an, a mechanism that uses a knob on the inside rather than a key and obviously that is fairly self-explanatory where that's going to go. Once you've got all this tightened back up again you'll then be able to test it all, turn the key and as you can see here it's working. It's taken us less than five minutes and saved hundreds of pounds on locksmith fees. When looking to purchase a replacement cylinder for your door it's best to find one that's got the British standard three star markings on it. These are ones that have been tested and are resistant to the lock snapping technique that are being used by some burglaries. There are other ones out there that are only one and two star and what you need to do with these is you actually need to replace your handles um, to ones that are also either rated as a 1 or a 2 star to get the 3 star rating. Whereas if you find a lock that's already got the 3 star rating you don't need to replace any of your handles and they're not that expensive. If you look on Amazon I'll put the link in the uh, description below and you can pick them up from anywhere from sort of 20 to 50 pound depending on what brand you go with.